Hello all, this is Priyanka Sonar, a research student at Dr. D.Y. Patil University and our team working at Cancer Translational and Research Lab under the precious guidance of Prof. Nalesh Kumar Sharma developed an innovative idea with the USB discard to forensic ecology. Here in this video, we present to you the scope of forensic investigation by using discarded tissue samples such as nails, saliva and teeth. Through our novel method of VTG, that is vertical tube gel electrophoresis, through the discarded nail samples, we have been successfully able to detect non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and other classes of drugs like anesthetics, antidepressants and anti-cancer drugs. And as a proof of concept, we also present to you the mass spectrometry graphs that we have obtained from our analysis. Moving ahead, we aim to replicate the same process into forensic investigations wherein we can detect the cause of death through a similar analysis of nail samples. Post-mortem investigations are generally dependent upon medical legal autopsy for collecting crucial facts pertaining to a homicide. This majorly includes examination of visceral tissues which may pose a significant problem in storage and maintaining the integrity of those. The complications faced by a medical examiner increase manifolds when the body remains are distorted as in cases of fire-related mortality. The metabopsy process using the novel MTG method offers a solution for this problem. In place of the visceral mass analysis, metabolic tests could be performed on nail and teeth samples owing to their extremely low degradation properties upon the death of the victim. Moreover, in these cases of homicidal poisonings, the disposition of toxin molecules will be the maximum in victims' nail samples, which can be easily obtained through non-invasive biopsy methods. The ease of availability and the intact nature of the above-mentioned tissues thus result in the accurate analysis for finding the cause of death, which in turn lifts the forensic investigation to get it to a fruitful conclusion. Moving ahead, forensic science paves the path for justice with the help of cutting-edge technological advances. For investigating non-natural and suspicious deaths, forensic pathology comes into play to determine the cause of death. In criminal and civil cases, DNA analysis serves as a traditional tool to bring the criminals to justice. Prominent pieces of evidence like hair, skin and the body remains in burn cases, semen and rape cases are analyzed for DNA matches. The time of the death and probable cause is evaluated by invasive procedures like autopsy. Anatomical evidence in certain cases consisting of organs tend to perish over time and intact retrieval of these is incomprehensible. To counter these, we propose a method of analysis of metabolites present in discarded tissues like nails using the novel VTG method. Applications of VTG range from molecular modeling to drug designing, majorly into forensic pathology, medicine and toxicology. The cold cases, the innocent victims and brutal crime scene images are a reminder of what we as medical professionals are here working for. Thus, it is inevitably important to understand the current technologies and the tests that could be employed to identify the sample. The major issue that we run into when dealing with cold cases is that the availability of samples that we have as evidence is not of a quality that we can utilize the technologies available today. As a result, the lack of body integrity and the rapid decomposition of body tissues post-mortem can potentially hamper the investigation and result in obstruction of justice. This is the exact basis for our proposal. Tissue samples like nails or teeth that pose as a piece of evidence in a criminal case tend to retain their chemical nature and are relatively less degraded after the death of victim. Thus, they can significantly contribute to the determination of cause of death. Acute poisoning cases, death by drug abuse and overdose of lethal medications could be effectively handled by the analysis of nail samples as the deposition of toxins will take place at these sites and will remain there for a prolonged time period. Coming to the methodology of carrying out VTG process, the protocol we followed involved preparation of 15% polyacrylamide gel in native condition in 15 ml falcon tube. 
Further, addition of running buffer is done to the setup. After the preparation and filtration of the biological sample, we mix it with loading buffer and carry out electrophoresis run. Collection of running buffer is done at the end of the process and pH measurements are carried out via UV with scanning. And subsequently, analysis of running buffer with potential metabolites is carried out. The toxicology tests carried out after incorporating BTG into them through metabolite analysis in male and teeth sample of the victim will enable the medical examiners to take the investigation to the next level. The obstacle that visceral tissue analysis brings along with it is successfully overcome through the non-invasive metabopsy process. In conclusion, the novel VTG method has inevitable applications in the field of forensics. Future developments in forensic science are heavily dependent on the progress in the fields of clinical anatomy and medical biotechnological research techniques. The unveiling of criminal cases has the involvement of the victim's dead body, blood evidence at the crime scene and the weapon used to commit the crime. All these have to be preserved in well-maintained conditions and the intact presentation of those entities during the court procedurals is very important. Novel inventions are the urgent requirement of the time so that maximum efforts can be put in by the medical legal professionals to bring justice to the victims and their families. Preservation of forensic evidence, use of discarded body samples, the weapon of crime and the integrity of biomarkers are of esteemed importance and research work can be carried out extensively in this area. This is the idea we at CTRL Lab have developed and would like to bring it into function on a larger scale. Thank you for listening and this is Priyanka signing off.